We're Jasmine and Crystal. This is Bella and Izzy. This is our home on wheels that we've been living and traveling in for over two years. With our knowledge and experience from life on the road, we're currently rebuilding our van to be more comfortable. Join us as we create a DIY shower. And while I have you, please subscribe to our channel so you never miss an adventure. Good afternoon. Welcome back to our van rebuild. We are picking up where we left off and we're working on the shower. We're gonna do some walls today and hopefully get through those because there's a lot of steps that comes into play when making a shower. Super quiet morning around here. All I can hear is the fire. The sun is just starting to peek through the window, which is super nice because it has been a really crummy morning. And it's, it's pouring. Yeah, and they're kind of like flurry like pouring, so. <laughs> we gotta get these walls done. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal thinks we can get them all done today, so. Yeah. We and might be able to, now that we got a nice little protractor scrab tool. Woohoo! Shooting for the stars, so let's do it. Let's start. Right. Last week, this is where we left you. We left you with our beautiful structure. Framed shower. Yeah. And now, it's time to make this shower come to life. Life. Add the walls, stick the walls, caulk the walls, and then have a shower. Yeah. Thanks to everyone for the scrubbing tips. So we've got a nice big piece of cardboard. We've measured the height of our shower and now we're just gonna cut the cardboard to that, then use our scrubbing tool, go down the wall and probably just keep rearranging it as we go. Scrubbing with mom? How's it this time? It's all right. Better. Pretty much, perfect. Ooh, we're moving up. This is scribing. How do you like it? Um. Wow, it's looking good. Woo! Looking good. <laughs> oh, that's a good feeling. <laughs> is it ever? Scribing. Say it's perfect. Like, look how... Oh, wow, that's touching everywhere. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like, look at the bottom, even. Oh, yeah. Wow. Like, I don't think you can get any closer than that. Like, there's obviously going to be a millimeter, like... Are you happy? Now, I'm going to hold this. Will you draw a line on the back? Yeah, so we can cut that straight? Mm-hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine's hurting from scrolling on Instagram. What do we have here? The final product. Woo! I'm being a little bit of a perfectionist, but... Makes sense. There's water going in there. I think it's perfect. Now, and my hand's vibrating from the sander because I've been standing for so long. <laughs> Just because I want it to be the perfect curve. I'm glad that you're being a perfectionist. You did this whole wall yourself, really. Mm, I don't know about that, but... Good job. Now, time for two more. You can't be taking a break. You've been doing all the work. <laughs> and now you're even cooking for us. <laughs> what are you making us? Bagels and homemade chili. Let's see it. Yep. It's hot. Ooh. Watch that steam. It's just about ready. 
We made this yesterday. We? Oui. I made left. This is leftover chili from yesterday, and it was just everything in the fridge, and it's turned out to be amazing. So. Best chili you've ever made. Thanks, honey. The chili last night put us to bed, but today we've been fairly productive and we've finished the walls of our shower. We didn't want to bore you with all this scrubbing, <laughs> so we now have a completed four walls, which is crazy. It definitely looks way bigger now that the walls are on. Yeah. And I'm super proud that we've got to this point because <laughs> it Me was too. a little bit <laughs> difficult. We need to go pick up the FRP that we will be using as our walls as the local Home Depot, Lowe's, hardware stores, none of them actually sell what we're looking for. And we want like a smooth white FRP, so we're going straight to the drywall construction <laughs> area area somewhere. Oh, it's the construction supply store. So we're gonna head there, get that FRP, the smooth white FRP, and then we're gonna go take these doggies for a walk. Wanna say hi to the vlog? Hi, people. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the FRP. Oh, you're welcome. And just like that, it's snowing. <laughs> Woo! The most important thing when you're van building is to take a break. So we're hitting the trail with the gals for a little bit of a stroll. And it just happens to be covered in snow today. And I'm super excited about it. Can't wipe my smile off my face in the winter. <laughs> Bell and Izzy are super happy too. They haven't seen snow in like a year. They're making doggy angels. Non-stop doggy angels. <laughs> Should've got our snow pants so we could do snow angels too. Do them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get you down. <sighs> oh, I love the snow. It's just a refreshing feeling. New season. It's nice to smell fresh air and not sawdust. That's yeah, for sure. That. <sighs> you see that breath? <laughs> <laughs> It is bloody cold, but we are staying warm in our Micro Puff Patagonia hooded jackets. Hooded, because that's what sold me. <laughs> <laughs> and we found these on backcountry.com, who is the sponsor of this week's video. Thank you to Backcountry. And these jackets are perfect for van life or travel. They actually pack up to like the size of my hand. They keep us warm. They're not bulky because when we're not building vans, we're always hiking. So these jackets are perfect for outdoor activity. And the warmth ratio, like they're super, super warm yeah. and lightweight. So it's like nothing better. You can also find bogs at Backcountry Online. I just got these and they're my first winter boot I've ever got myself. True Canadian over here. And they're good for up to negative 50 and they're completely waterproof. And just like that person that just passed us said, it is a beautiful day and you've got to get out and enjoy winter. Canadians, don't call us crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and no matter what the conditions of the world, I know everything's a little bit unpredictable. The outdoors is always open. And I'm always there for you. We want to encourage you to get out and enjoy your backcountry wherever that may be. So use code VANWISE15 so that way the cold doesn't intimidate you and you can go enjoy the beautiful outdoors. Yeah, Backcountry has got your back and they've got 24 seven gearheads available to help you find the gear that you need for this season. As well as many deals happening this November. So head on over or go to the link in the description at Backcountry Online. Time will change its pace Maybe we can sing timelessly This behind me is FRP board. It is a smooth white. That's what we went for. And it is fiberglass reinforced panel. And it's really durable, mold, waterproof, stain resistant. Easy to clean for Crystal? Yes, super easy to clean for me. <laughs> So we're taking our panels that we cut earlier from the ply 
We are tracing them onto the FRP board and we will be cutting into the FRP to replicate the ply and then we will later be putting them together. Let's get tracing. Let's get tracing. Step three. There's a lot of steps to building a shower. Yeah. And like one step doesn't take just one try. So it takes like <laughs> five million tries. Scribing man. You need to scrub a queen. Yeah, Can you girls have a nice time outside? Okay. Yes. I also think I'm more nervous to cut this than I was to cut the two fans and a window. What? I don't know why. Well, also, I guess because like we had to go way out of our way to like find it. Like you can't just get it anywhere. So I mean, if you cut a hole in your van, like you have a hole in you your van. You can't get forever. your van back. True. Why are you so well, scared? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm like more scared for like the after. I guess you cut a hole in your van. It's not watertight too. Who knows? <laughs> I honestly don't know. <laughs> Bella! Bella! Still not tired! Well, we've traced our first panel. We are now ready to cut it. So, come on, Jazzy! I wanna see if it's waterproof and stain proof. What are you doing? Test it. <laughs> oh my. It's like precious coffee. Oh, true. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are you proud of your experiment? Yeah, you gotta make sure it works before you put it in the van. <laughs> Quality stuff here, people! Quality stuff, Bella! I'll clean a shower. I'll hold you to it. I bought a squeegee for us. For me. <laughs> you specifically bought that squeegee for me. This is our shower wall. One of them. Wow, check out that curve though. Look at that. Scriber queen. Damn. Scribing queen. How was it to cut? Easy. Should we see how it looks? Wow. Is that the front or the back? We didn't think about that. Is that the scrap from the other one? Will it fit on that? No. How many sheets do we got? These are three. Four. No way! Thank you. I always work too much. Dunzo. Now time for the adhesive. First, we actually have to put the ply on the walls mm -hmm. with screws. Mm -hmm. See if these are like the exact. We might have to like trim on this uh -huh. a bit, and then we can glue. All right, let's do that. Let's my wrists are broken. Oh, why? You cut one? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It's back to work. So this stuff is actually really good when installing a shower because it just helps it be more watertight. It is an inside quarter. Inside quarter, and it looks so profesh. Yeah, it lo makes your shower look really professional. So you can see FRP, one of them goes in here and the other one goes behind there. That way you don't have to put like a thick bedding of caulking, which in the end is not gonna last forever. So this helps, especially in a van. So what we've done is we've cut them on 45 degree angles with the miter saw. That way they'll meet up and be flush. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're actually just taping on these inside corner pieces because we wanna, this is our first time doing it. So we wanna put this in the van and make sure that it fits uh, great before we move forward. Yeah. <laughs> Trial and error is how we work around here. I like it. Trial, error, and win. Win? Because we win? Well, it's the only way to get there for us. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a little bit off this side as well. And then I think we should be game. 
Did we just make that? We made a shower. How many hours later? Yeah. Like, let's talk about that. We've been readjusting and being super finicky all day to try and get everything in line perfectly. And finally, just accomplish that. It's taken many hours. Once we put the pan in, we weren't exactly happy. So we took all the walls down. And actually, thank gosh we did. Because we forgot to run the wire for the hot water heater. That's going to be over there. So it all happens for a reason. What are you learning? That we got the wrong trowel. <laughs> and it's 10.40 p.m. at night and nothing is open. Now we're just gonna roll out the entire surface. The snow is gone. Good morning, everyone. Last night, we left you with the walls. They are drying very good. It says between 12 and 72 hours, so we think we're gonna leave it at 48 hours. We are working on the trim for like the door of the shower. So right now we're trying to figure out how big our toilet is because we actually don't have it. So that way we were able to bring it out and in of the shower room and we don't pull a max bids. So we think we have the correct measurements. That's what we've been doing this morning. And now we're about to make it look pretty, which is always the fun part. So we of course have used Craig to attach the structure on the outside. And then we're gonna be cragging in tongue and groove. Whoa, I'm falling all the way up there. Yeah, this design we actually got from Court and Nate who we follow on Instagram. Yeah, the whole they, shower. Yeah, have they really... build really beautiful vans. So this is like, I think this is like gonna look really nice because it's not gonna take up too much space. Before we finish the installation of the wall, we have a very important appointment just outside the shop. So happy we did that. It is an absolute must living in Ontario because we use tons of salt on the roads here in the winter and it will save the van from rusting and they sprayed it in the doors and all the cavities. So we're ready, set, go, ready for winter. <laughs> go for winter. <laughs> so while we were getting the van sprayed, Jasmine and I were talking and we just found that the wood that we had purchased really low quality and it was like honestly falling apart and it was just gonna be a lot of standing work. So we quickly made a run to the hardware store and just picked up some solid, a little bit pricier, sanded, durable pieces. And we're gonna rebuild this. And we're actually gonna leave a space at the top so that way it can be well ventilated as we have a fan like literally at the door of the shower. We are gonna rebuild this just cause we're being a little picky because we don't wanna like redo it down the road. We want it to be exactly how we want it the first time and we want it to be strong and we want it to be nice, so. Perfectionist. It's worth it. Boop. <laughs> Take a look at the door in there. Super nice. Much better. So happy we went and got better wood. Me too, it looks way better. And this is gonna look sweet on the shower. Obviously a little bit of sand, maybe a little bit of paint, gonna look real good. That 
dried extremely well. The bracing held up very well. It seems extremely tough. I'm super, super stoked on how it's turned out. We're about halfway through the caulking job and we're gonna call it a week and we will see you next week as we continue to build our shower by installing all the fixtures, the plumbing, and all the things that will bring it to life and allow us to get clean. So Ciao. we'll see you next week. Ciao. Uh, this, uh, the, 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 the. Side of the wall.